Good morning everyone and welcome to another video on Mr. Ong Math Lesson. Today, I'm going to teach you how to calculate two-digit multiplication using the Japanese method or the Japanese way of multiplication. Okay, So the Japanese way is such that they use lines instead of numbers. So instead of writing one, two, three, four, they're going to draw one line, two lines, three lines, and four lines, and so forth. So the idea is we are going to count the number of points of intersection in a particular region. So the region is made up of the 1th region, the 10th region, and also the 100th region. So this method was originated from Japan, hence it is called the Japanese method in multiplication. So let's look at the three examples and let's go. Okay, the first example, okay. The first example is 13 multiplied by 22, very simple. 13 means there's 1, 3 multiplied by 2, 1. So the first 1, 1, so we go 1 green line, 3 black line, 1, 2, 3, and we diagonalize it. So 2 pink line, so 1, 2, and then 2 purple line. So now the next step we're going to do into 3 separate regions, the 1, the 10th, and the 100. So we're going to count the point of intersection. So in this case, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's where all the two lines meet. So there'll be 6 ones. Similarly, for the 10th region, so we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there'll be 8, 10. Not too bad, right? And the final is 100. So it's going to be 1, 2. So it's going to be 200. And the final answer is going to be 200, 8 tenths or 80. And 6, 1 is 6. So the answer is going to be 286. Okay, great. We'll look at the second example. The second example is similar but with different numbers. So suppose we have 32 times 12. So the first thing you do, you're going to do three green line, one, two, three, two blue line, one, two, one pink line. So that'd be one pink line and two purple line. Next step, put them into region. So the region is the one, the 10th and the 100. So the, the ones, we're going to count the point of intersection, one, two, three, four. So there'll be four ones. For the 10th, you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there'll be 8 tenths. And the last but not least, we look at the 100. So 1, 2, 3, so it's going to be 3. So the final answer is 384 or 300, 8 tenths and 4, 1. That's how you get 384. Okay, okay, the last example is the hardest of the lot. Okay, so we shall look at it now. Okay, the last example is when you have a slightly bigger number, 14 multiplied by 23. Again, one green, four blue, one, two, three, four, two pink, one, two, and three purple, one, two, three, purple. Okay, so now the next step, three region, the one, the 10, and the 100. Okay, the next step, you're going to find the point of intersection. So the one, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So you write as 12. You, there's no 12, 1. So what happens is you put 2, and this 1 will go to the next column, which is called the 10th column. So 1 plus whatever the next uh, point of intersection. So the 10th, you're going to calculate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 1 plus 11 gives you 12. So we retain the 2. 2 will be in the 10th column. But this 1 is going to the next column, which is the 100th column. So we're going to be 1 plus whatever intersection in the next column. So 1, 2. So 1 plus 2 is going to be 3. So it'll be 300, 2, 10, and 2, 1. So the answer is going to be 322. So this is a, an alternative method compared to the other methods you have learned. For example, you have learned the algorithm method or you have learned the grid method. This method is an alternative method. Okay. So my only criticism, if you have a big number, for example, it is 9 and 8, when you find the point of intersection, there are going to be a lot of point of intersection. For example, 9 times 8 is going to be 72. So it's going to get a bit messy. Other than that, it's a good way to learn multiplication. So hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you soon everyone and have a good day.